on this computer. Just have to show it. Do you have it yet? <laughs> He's just laughing at me. I, I have hubby here. He doesn't want to be in the thing. You could peek over here and say, hey. Oh, he put his hat over there. His midnight ride in YSTV. David Carrico hat. Anyway, um, we're going to go through some of the pictures that he's been taking with his P900 today. So that's what it is, right? Yeah. Okay. There will be no scoffing in the side seat here. He's going to be side seat driving is what he's going to be doing. So the video doesn't count. I mean, it's not really a... It all counts. Well, sometimes it doesn't like focusing because it's just not real anymore. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> so, it, it, so it doesn't really count because the focus. That on... one wasn't doing very good? No. Okay. No, that's that one good. wasn't doing very good. Okay. Let's see. So see, you already started out with a dud. <laughs> Let's see. Start with this one. Okay. That's nothing. And now I mean, other than when you. I got a screen shared again. As a matter of fact, no, let's just screen yeah. share the whole thing. Well, just just be nice. Hold on a second. Be patient. I usually it's try to put be okay. what they are. I mean, in flight radar, you know. Oh, yeah. There you go. See, that's. Denver FFT 466. These frontier from Denver to OKC. It, nothing. They were lost if they were all the way over here. Why no. were they going? Oh, no. from Denver. Never to mind. OKC. I was thinking Dallas. My brain is not. Yeah, no, it's that. I mean, that's nothing. It, that one's nothing really. Woohoo. Nothing snazzy. Oh, hey. And I will run into a fence. It usually tries to focus on the fence and it's not <laughs> getting anything. It's a little bit nasty. So, prairie grass. You guys wanted to see that. Oops, there's Knowles, Oklahoma, 30 miles away. Yeah, 30 miles. There we go. Mr. and Mrs. Shepherd's house, 30 miles away. Actually, about 32. It's about, about two miles on the other side of that. Really hazy. Yeah, a lot of that is hazy. The The other folder was a little better with some of that. Okay. Well, we'll flip through yeah, this you can one go. pretty quick. That one's a nice one. That's out of focus, kind of, and then that's out of focus. And, eh, I mean, it does, it's so nasty up there. It really, that's a 737, by the way. Da, da, da. That's a These don't have the interesting names. On oh, no. them. Oh. That's first seventh of the moon. That I think first that was seven. October. Yep. Probably. Yeah. I think that next night. Ice crystals. Um, oops. <laughs> that one, that's a globe, a globe lie C-17 globe. Lie. He didn't look like he was necessarily. There's a United. There's, there's some ice crystals. Yeah, that was a United. I'm just going to flip through if we get to something really exciting. Da -da. They missed. They missed. They didn't hit each other. Wouldn't want people to get hurt. But... No, we definitely don't want people to get hurt. Lots of ice crystals there. New York to Los Angeles. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Circular ice crystals couple of days into noon afternoon that's really very yeah very 
There we go. Very detailed in there. And but it's nasty. Well, um, I mean, but hey. No, I know. You, you, you to take a picture with a P nine hundred that was into digital zoom, but yet not very far into digital zoom, and two hundred thirty eight thousand miles away. Huh. Hmm. Makes a person wonder, huh? Lovely. That's a pretty good one, too. Definitely a lot going on there. Yeah, they was walking on the moon. Did you see them? Oh, yeah. See those little footy prints going on there? Wow. Look at there. You saw the flag. It just went by. <laughs> da, 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 da. See the street. Wow. That's just pretty amazing. Very interesting. Note how your is dark, dark around it, seeing through it. Yeah. Now your light. Way there. Oops, sorry, that was out of focus. That happens. Uh oh, no, that was the uh, that was a little filter on the welding helmet. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Very hard to. Just getting further into new moon. Going little, through the phases here. Little past half there on that one. Almost full. That's the sky. Oops. Baby walk. Puffy is scratching. Pretty amazing. Hopefully you guys can kind of pause on the ones that you're interested in. And and that right there is an E6B, your friendly, lovely. Pence. Yeah, they was naming that one Pence. It's a Navy device. It's old 707 airframe. It is a frequency and a deep, heavy frequency that... That plane, they claim out of the back, if you, there's a picture a little bit closer up, kind of, of the back. And, oops, that's video of it, possibly. Anyhow, but it can string an antenna, well, a wire, out the back two to five miles. Wow. And they use it for uh, <clears throat> sub-hunting, or so they claim. That's probably one of those days I wasn't maybe feeling very good. And could very well have been anyway. Get some but, really lovely frequency stuff going on here. I mean, it, 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 that thing is heavy frequency junk. Um, interesting, terrible. And that it floated around us, I don't know, about four hours. Oh, it, yeah, yeah, I bet I was feeling really good that day. Good grief. Oh. But, uh, yeah, it's sub hunting out here in the panhandle. We'll yeah, go. we've got submarines out here for them to. Yeah, if you want to come hunt submarines in the panhandle of Oklahoma, come on. We got subs out here and some oceanfront property that I can sell you. Sounds really good. Uh, that should show up in a little bit of a what I just. There we go. That that's just a yeah, forty five thousand foot jet. There you can nothing important per se. Just just swinging by at forty five thousand foot. But that's back. I mean, while the Navy was doing that, 
at the same time. Fun. Yeah. Hard to get it, kind of, guys. I'm sorry. It's, it's, and when it moves and I'm having to move around and, you know, when it's kind of floating along at eight miles a minute, well, hard to catch. Yeah. And then hard to keep it focused and stay with it. Yeah, you know, I don't know what how long it had been floating around at that point. You held with it pretty good there. Uh, it's a little further away and coming towards me, so well, almost hard, not quite. not really a pretty one. Oops, I didn't have the time in that picture. Right. Anyway, pretty good night firmament. Good night firmament through the through the moon. Okay. That's got that one. Oh, you didn't need to go that. Oh, well. What? Oh, uh, audio. Threat. Anyway, that's what it, <laughs> what's called. I don't know what they call that one. I mean, but it's got supposed moons around it. But it's just points of light, people. Just points of light. Not very far away. Frequencies. That one, if I if I'm steady, it will be kind of steady, but wasn't wanting to focus very good. You can tell it was dark. You can go to the next one that's pulling back, and that's a still picture out of focus, but you can get the premise of its moons. <laughs> Not joking. It's extra little lights. Yes, and. I was hoping for some angstroms on that, but it didn't pan out. It didn't pan out, huh? Yeah. Oh, look at that little walk. Yeah, the little Shizus. We call them Ewoks. They look like Ewoks. And this is focused on the spins. So you can go past that one. I've... <laughs> okay. Skate. No, Twenty miles. No, yeah. How many miles away? 20 miles? Oh, uh, probably 18. Somewhere in there. Yeah. No, I didn't get no angstrom, so you can go. Uh, That's cell tower on the Knowles Road. And then the power poles. Power poles, okay. On the Knowles Road, more likely. Yeah, this is from our, these particular type pictures are from the mailbox at our house. Oh. We're about uh, 2,800 feet high, um, and that's, that's up in New Kansas, no. right? No, that's, no, no, that's right. toward Mills. Okay. Just, uh, Lots of ice crystals. I'm so glad that they can seed whatever they think they're seeding. Don't they have to have something to seed if they're seeding? Doesn't I'm matter. Just they're also doing it's some nice windmill action there in the background. I mean, that's pretty nice. Real windmills. Nice old-fashioned water-pumping windmills. Wow. You can even see his little blinky light on one of his wings there. That happened to be United. 
as you can see. There's a Cancun to Denver. Wow. Throwing out their little umbrellas and little drinkies. Hopefully people go in to get some real cancer treatment. <laughs> That's the best place to go. Now you're coming into a waning moon in the day. And some ice crystals. Both. That's wow. southwest there. That's a <laughs> private. Oops, out of focus. Private. Um, as you can see, it was turning. There you go. Aha. Uh -huh. Baby walk. Nice crystal generations. And a dirty lens, filthy lens. Oh no, I'm sorry. It's the red kachina and the blue kachina. <laughs> see how hard they are to see? I mean, they're getting harder and harder and harder to see. I think that. we need to get back to what the original, the Native Americans said that the kachinas were in the first place. They never said that they were planets, guys. That was just dirty lens, that plain and simple. <laughs> well, that's true. But occasionally, they do catch stuff. I mean, definitely. Not saying that they don't catch stuff, but it's not what they think it is. Zillions of miles out in Timbuktu. I sure should have got yesterday's and the day before so that you could definitely tell different sides, different stuff. It was crazy. I was just shaking my head and threw up my hands. I, nobody cares. They do too. I just haven't got on here and got you back here to to do any more lately. You guys let him know that you care. It's a waning moon. Out of focus. It caught focus back. I mean, you were trying to focus on two completely different things there. He was having issues with his ice crystal set up there. Oh, wow. That reminds you of a double helix going on. Fun. Oh, sorry. You guys don't that's, see any of this kind of stuff over where you're at, right? That's an ups. Yeah, uh, MD11. An MD11 is an entity that is, you know, MD10s, 11s were the ones that wing engines and a tail engine. So sometimes they give you some really good show. Okay. Oh, uh, this one, I don't know if this is one of the better ones, but anyway, uh, premise on this here is that power pole is about a half a mile from the house. And that power pole is about eh, 35 foot tall, but it's not 35 foot tall as you can. I mean, it's in a hole is what I'm trying to. It's lower than we are. And it's over the curve. Yes. There you go. And, but we can see these back here. And how far away are those? Uh, those are at Spearville, Kansas, from our mailbox. They are uh, 70 to 80, 70 to 90 miles, 70, 80 miles. Hmm. Somebody calculate the curvature on that one. <laughs> uh, they are about, they are about 400. They're four mag. They're about 400 foot tall. Okay. Okay. The blades, it might be, I, I don't care. You can pick a number, two, 225, two, 221, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Yeah, Sorry. somebody do the calculations on that one for us and find out whether or not we should be able to see them. Eight inches per mile squared or 0. 0.666, <laughs> whichever you wish. Whichever you wish. Um. 
I hate these things. I just, if you guys don't know that yet, I hate those things with a purple passion. But, I mean, you know, you, like I said, that, that one, no curvature is just in a lower spot than we are. Right. Oh, and there's a, a windmill, a, a, a real windmill poking up there. But yeah, horizon, horizon, horizon. Got several of those going on there. Doug's boy's antennas at his house. And if, if I mean, you can Google in on our 183 20th Road and you can see our mailbox and go up towards Spearville, Kansas. And the, the 20th Road means where, oh, so there's a planet destroyer right there. Yeah, there's Earl, baby. No, it's about, no, it's not. Oh, that's those, one of the Doug, next door neighbors. Okay. Doug's boys. One of the neighbors. It used to be pure rainforest and then those killed it all. No, ours is prettier. <laughs> but the 20th road means we're 20 miles from the imaginary Kansas. And yeah, Oklahoma we're line. 20 miles from the Oklahoma-Kansas line. You're not supposed to be giving directions to our house, dear. There's creepos out there. Let's not do that. Well, not anybody looking on your stuff there. Well, we hope not. But you never know. Every once in a while, I get a dumb comment. So, creepo. They probably too lazy to bring themselves out here. Well, anyway, Besides, so with we're, the, we're we're packing. So with you know. with with the video. Uh oh, there's gate again. There's gate out, oh, and that picture is not even into digital zoom yet. So there you go. There's yeah. Knowles not into digital zoom. Also, a eh, little more digital zoom. New moon, about half ish. Oh, that's a good one. Wow. <laughs> the puppy's not getting his and scratches like he wants. My my point being there, of course, is you can see ice. Oscar but anyhow, that is to the west. Whoops. And it, but anyway, the moon was to the east. Um, then as it comes around, it'll, the moon has left in the half full and left the east side of the sun. Then it'll come to the west. Look yeah. at that one. Uh, that's nothing first. I mean, other than just showing the westerly side is the sun. There's the, East moon. of the moon. Okay. That works. Some of those happen to be kind of kind of sharp. Yeah. Now, as you can see, it's starting to get dark. And it's dark around it, kind of, and dark through it. But it's it still light. Looks like it's got a weird shape to it. That oh, was just pretty. That looks lovely. Ugh. If you know, okay, <laughs> that picture and the, it was between Spearman and Groover when I took that picture. Okay, that's in Texas. Harrington, as you can see, Harrington is about from us, about 60 miles. Spearman is probably another mm, 20 southwest of Perryton. And I, I and I and it is only at 37,000 feet. You can calculate that up. But anyhow, so I was taking the picture, as you can see. And of course, you, oops, that's out of focus. Sorry. Um, that's a different one, but uh, well, I don't know. Theoretically, I don't think you should be able to see that's it too. I mean, the both of them together there. Mm -hmm. And note the difference. You you really wouldn't think same engine, same yeah, that one should be 
shorter than the other. If you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. One ice crystal trail, excuse me. Two different colored ice crystal trails. Oh, it's just, just shadows me. Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, three, all uh -huh. coming into the same place. Yeehaw! Yeah, that one was that one there. That was, that's a 777. And I, I'm sure it's... Oh, that one's really sharp. That's me. Oh, you grunchy little puppy. She's not he he's not scratching her good enough. Two hundred that's that's those stars you were showing. Yeah, that's the and not too badly focused, a little bit out of focus, but not too bad. It wasn't mm -hmm. So they tell you that those are, I don't know if that's supposed to be, but it is a more solid light where that one is the same. It just don't want to focus. It's the same one. I mean, but whenever you get in there, I mean, it now, really, it, you that one, if the... it'll focus in, it's, it's solid. That's just out of focus. It still there. definitely has a frequency shape and stuff to it to me. I mean, my opinion. But also, it's a nasty sky. I mean. Right. That's yeah, interesting, yes. the way that looks. Wow. And I, throughout, you know, if you could get an hour difference at a time, or, you know, the, the other little dots will move around. Makes you wonder what's actually going on. It it does. It's sharing what NASA tells you. <laughs> now, some of my subscribers are NASA lovers. Oh. And they they may be heartbroken okay. by <laughs> that one actually turned out better than I thought it would. I mean, they came in and said, Boy, there was a ring around the moon and and I went out and I thought, Well, I couldn't get it's gonna not get a picture and it turned out better than I yeah, I, I know some one. <laughs> some people on Facebook. And it were, wasn't were, great, but it was. Yeah, some people on Facebook were really. What is this over here? That's the same little star. Oh, okay. That's your evening door. Evening door. That's what the grandbaby yeah. calls it. And that's an out of focus evening door that I. But anyway. I, I, little grandbaby. Ah, there you go. There's to go in Tokyo for you. All right. From Dallas. Yep. To Tokyo. to Tokyo going over Oklahoma. Seriously? Uh, North. Oh, us. North over Oklahoma. So why going to Tokyo? Are they going north over west ish? Oklahoma? Pretty amazing. And okay. Now this one does baffle me a little bit. And I got like it this evening or this afternoon also. It's about a weekly flight. It's New Zealand, uh, Auckland, Auckland, however it's pronounced, to Chicago. And it's a 787. And it, uh, that's not it. That, that's not it. That's it right there. But, and that I tried to get it. This is earlier. Today's is a little bit better. There's a pole. Yeah, that, that's our power pole. <laughs> but, yeah, I was trying to get it. It. But today's, I got a little bit better. So, but this one, I can't quite, everything else computes as far as their flight. But the Auckland or however, New Zealand flight, From I New Zealand. can't. Doesn't quite make sense. It doesn't make sense. Unless because, they were making some stops that they weren't No, showing. that's it. That's its flight. Hmm. Uh, where the black lines are is no radar. Okay? Right. So... Um, but anyhow, that and the they angle... made some stops at Lumeria or something, huh? <laughs> I don't, don't think so, but anyhow, because it's just pretty much non stop, which gets back to the jet fuel hoax stuff. But that's, yeah, that's true. Mm, um, we've yeah. got this theory that they've got 
um, compressor engines go in that compress the the air and pretty much free energy yeah the airplanes a lot of the airplanes are running on a compressed air scenario instead of as much fuel they probably have some fuel you know that they're like getting it started with and stuff but they're a lot more energy efficient than what they make themselves out to be that's an american 777 probably going to Tell us oh, to that's, Vancouver. That's Vancouver. Some Day, daytime moon. Out of focus for the time being. Hopefully that we'll decide to catch up and do its thing. Yeah, we're starting to get a little better. Baby dog, you're grunchy. I'm going to make you get up here in the camera. You'll have to say hi to everybody. I think she'd just basically be moving. Just kind of fast forward through some of the fuzzies a little bit. Pull it in. Pretty good. But note the blue. And the blue. Well, and the waviness around the edge. I mean, that's what always, like, it just doesn't really seem solid. Grunchy puppy. Mm. You want down? I'm going to get you over here. And you can say hi to people. Mm -hmm. You stink. You need a bath. Yeah, that's what I think. See those ice crystals? Net jets. Shadows. But see how hard it is pretty much to get them pretty much anymore. I mean, there is. Well, everything's so hazy. I know, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You're a grunchy puppy. Really? Really? I don't believe you. Nobody else believes you either. I don't think anybody believes you. What are you grumbling about? You silly puppy. Oops. Are you grumbling because you're too fat? Well, where'd it go? I think it skipped it. <laughs> She's just trying to chain. <laughs> and Jose Delta's, to Atlanta. Delta's freight line is a seven. <laughs> quoting mike decker there okay there's some more that's uh, the same wind generators not in zoomed in, not zoomed in not in the digital realm at all 70 uh, some odd miles away mm -hmm. hopefully somebody will do the math in the comments i'm just too lazy to do the math right now <laughs> Oh, well, the math basically tells you 3,800 feet of curvature. So 400 foot, I mean, they should be about uh, 3,200, 3,300 foot under the curve. Very far. Yep. That's scary. Yep. I was don't like fires. The smoke and the... Don't like fires. Well, here, I'm going to stop share for a second. So they can see the puppy. Say hi. Say hi. I am the grouchy little Shizu. Ain't that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Little goofy dog. What? What? All right. There we go. Oh, that's a good one of the pumping unit over there. Knowles. A gate. That was a fairly clear day. Yeah, there. that. There, later down, you get a little further. There's some kind of clear days. That's Gates Water Tower. That's the mm -hmm. Knowles, Mr. Shepherd's house over there on the left. Yeah, that's much more clear than those other ones. Oh, yeah. 
What do you want? They goofed up and slacked off on their ice crystalline. That's the rolling hills of the prairie, guys. And that curvature that you can see from... That's Mr. and Mrs. Shepherd's house. That would be about 32 miles away. I know it's a mirage. <laughs> mirage. Yeah, one of these is pretty cute with the vehicles on the road over there on the um, Mr. and Mrs. Shepherd's house. Yep, there See sure the not. vehicles on <laughs> Highway 64. That's funny. From that far away. That's pretty amazing. Quit digging. That's no more amazing than seeing the moon 238,000 miles away. I know. I mean, it's pretty amazing that you can get zoomed in and see such detail on that. I mean, is it better than the... <laughs> the... <laughs> it's, the... Uh, it's funny how we can see that up close and personal, but yet the blue marble images <laughs> oh goodness. it's a little propeller airplane yeah he so was the one buzzing around google earth ah see the thing on the wing on the strut oh you does it say it? it no the camera right there on the strut oh okay yeah there is your satellite guys your google satellite right there That's the same thing that that helicopter was doing. Oh, that's a really clear day, too. What it, puppy? Some cows. That is that compression station over by the Tom. Just mm. before it drops into uh, Ditch Valley. Cool. Of course, they have no idea what that is. That's silo just before it drops into Ditch Valley. That's about, I think that's my Lannan's mom and dad's place. That's a moonlight mission. Take question. <laughs> Lots of prairie. That's Bush. out of focus, but anyway. It was, oh, wow. Uh, it was a, a beautiful northwest Oklahoma evening. Looks like Gates of Hell. That's the same little star situation. See the, not even zoomed in there. Looking through the, I, I know it's Mirage, so I know. <laughs> well, it definitely shows you a difference between, you know, atmospheric conditions do definitely yes. make, make a difference on how far you can see and what you can see. There's a whole bunch of hay bales, I'm assuming mm -hmm. there. No, I think that's cows, actually. Oh, yeah, it does kind of, yep, those are cattle out grazing. Some feed or something. Okay, there be our mailbox. It looks like a yeah, a unicorn threw up on it. It needs to be repainted. We're arguing about how we're going to paint it. You guys can vote. If you've made it this far in the video, vote. Do you want us to have a blue Doctor Who mailbox or a pink and green flower mailbox. Point being here is it's not even into digital. 
Actually, I think that particular day I was even able to see him physically. Myself. Physically, really, with the naked eye, 70 some odd miles away. Again, nastiness. Wow. And that is a humongous field, a humongous. Yeah, there's a lot it's of them. evil. Uh, it's awful. And like I said, I try to give, you know, perspective with the power pole and the. Right, right. There is an antenna that shows up in some of these. And I and I have no idea where that antenna where the is. Antenna the radio is. Tower, the... Not anywhere actually near. Yeah, that antenna was back, back up in the middle there all. Yeah. Uh -oh. and, and the radio tower for it is right there underneath it, but I cannot tell you exactly where it is. Up there in Kansas somewhere. Well, anyway, it can turn around. I mean, we can't see them from our house because we're there's a little hill behind us, but the other ones are about 30 miles away and on the other e each direction. each one of these things which is way too close the the two meg generators takes 2800 horsepower to run four meg 5600 horsepower you think that it's not manipulating the wind and when the ones south of us there's about 66 of them <laughs> anyway and, and it is about the equivalent of 338,000 horsepower I mean they're threes and sixes they love them it's ridiculous now this is more uh, the other I was standing on something to get past Doug's fence either I'm going to cut Doug's fence down or... <laughs> he might not appreciate that <laughs> oh, I'm fine stand on something a little bit to get past his fence it kind of makes me hey we're going east for some reason i don't know why there's another md11 for you one more same md11 it was burning pretty it's across got the belly sauce going on there too. Huh? No, that that's tail. tail the tail engine. Okay. There's your seven four seven carbon lux. Oh I see a good one. Good one. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that one something interesting? I just go uh, for it. My clicker is getting a little. Oh, I should have finished up on that right now. I probably was, if I don't have a. I might try to get. I think what it was was a, a <laughs> private out of Wichita, Aww. that one there, or one similar to it. Weathermodification.com. No, no, no. They're just checking Not the blink. One. No, they're checking the blinkers and brakes and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, it, see, going on. Okay. Okay. It is net jets, and they're checking to make sure people have. And a YouTube, safe I am quoting an actual website. Look it up before you fact check me. Anyway, see, had a Facebook fact check check me on mines this last week, and it's like, no, actually, these are accredited websites. It's just like good grief, people. You fact check this is false information. It's not actually a picture of this such and such mine. And it's like, well, actually, it is, and it's exactly from the mining company. 
they need to pay the fact checkers more so they can actually Google something. Because if it's right there at the top of Google search, then they should be able to look that up and find out. But no, they just decided they didn't want that to be a fact. So they fact checked it. Wasn't quite as clear that particular day. A little fuzzy. But still, the fact is the Mirages is pretty Miragey. Pretty Miragey. Yep. Okay. I mean, these little points of light that come in on that just a lot of detail for something that's supposed to be so far away. Now, some people say that maybe the moon wasn't have the look of potholes in it, but Enoch said it did. So I'm kind of sticking with Enoch myself. Right. That's sticking without a focus there. I think I did catch it a little better on the second go around. Yeah, there we Yeah, there again, not even digital room just kind of trying to make a point on how far we can actually see yeah that's there's a 747 i think that eggs i mean oops lots of ice crystals well, yesterday and the day before, I, I should have got the camera out, but unfortunately, no full wing. Oh, let's see that that's that's the newest one, I think. How far in? I, I do believe, I believe that is the New Zealand today. Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. I... It's not going to be far away, but it might not be the New Zealand one today. Nope, that's, no. Yep, that is a New Zealand one today. But 787, the same plane, seems to be a weekly flight. But it's as you saw on the other picture of the flight path and you can see to, and today kind of got a pretty good picture of its marking so you know it's the new zealand um and there was one in beside the moon there the moon was a little dirty earlier But that's still New Zealand. But it, it it's coming across just kind of on the Gleason map, that would be a very long, long way. Well, and that's not really any further than going to Tokyo. I mean it's it's a twelve hour run, but Well, but I mean going across like that instead of going the way that is. I don't know. Yeah, the Gleason map doesn't compute with New Zealand. Um, of course, this here was, uh, my point being on this one is, Mexico Navy, oh. it was flying over. Mm. Interesting. I only got one picture of it, but yeah, Mexico Navy is a 605 bombardier, and, uh. Well, oh, did we get I, I I had one picture I thought of it. I mean it's yeah, right there, that one there. Yep, yeah, that's uh, <laughs> they don't care to shut down the border people. Anyway, it's fuzzy and because it was but that's supposedly for the Mexican Navy. And you can see that it left Wichita and it did a circle. I got a picture of it somewhere. I don't have the picture of it. I don't think so. You may still have that on your yeah, I've got camera. Anyway, 
guys, I hope you enjoyed the P900 update. And yeah, I'm feeling kind of lazy and not feeling like getting into yeah, that, some really that deep. Your Mexican Navy driving around. Yeah, I don't know if I can show that on there. Yeah, it's probably a little glary, but anyway, you get the idea, maybe. Yeah, maybe you're going to get the idea. Yeah. If you guys don't have flight radar, it is a lot of fun to kind of track the planes that are going around, especially if you live in a rural area. It might be a little annoying if you live in a highly populated area near a big airport but you know pick a spot and kind of keep track of what airplanes are flying over that rural area and it's kind of an interesting thing to look at this this flew over earlier i don't anyway but it's from buffalo to uh, tucson right uh-huh <laughs> so i think it was a Beechcraft 800 anyway but this is the pictures they give you of the plane <laughs> they oops that's the mexican navy but the... <laughs> that's the picture they give of the plane <laughs> to, with... that flew over anyway is okay funny. <laughs> okay okay anyway and coming to you today from donita and husband hunky husband because that's sticking. And I have that yet. I know, I know, I know. I did. Sure. I have to, I have to, Patriot, you know. Patriot, player. Anyway. It's not plagiarism, you old goat. Anyway, we've got lots of people. We're going to have actually a poet in the next one. I'm really excited about that. But anyway, yes. If you haven't subscribed and this was the least bit interesting, I all have other stuff and um, yeah, all the goodies. And remember, you can make it through the dust storms of life with God's divine help. Uh, send them a show them a picture of a, 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 a bonus content of what? Uh, yeah, uh, it should be on there. I of think. what? Uh, I thought we went through all the pictures. No, of a. Uh, uh, I mean, just so they can go. I don't know which one you're talking about. Well, that's that's a dirt storm, but the you know, one you was just uh, whatever you were. I don't know what you're wanting. Well, that was during dirt storm, and is it, that what you're wanting? Not really, but I mean, it it it's fun. It's it's uh, because you've sunspots. It was having the wind was blowing about 70, 80 mile an hour. And yeah, figure out where I'm at again. Yeah, and if you zoom in, you see the sun. And we was having the dirt storm, wind was blowing, and that's all dirt in the air. Well, I'll back up. You had a don't mix video. Yeah. Yeah, that's all. That's during a. Oh, there you go. Several sunspots in that one. And like I said, wind was blowing like 70. The blow the Ewoks away. The uh, solar, that was solar wind going on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so as you can see, 93 million miles away with a P900, I can really get stuff like that. Yeah, right. Get in better than Mr. Suspicious Observers, which he, he does have some. I, I do like his content. One of these days, maybe he'll come around, but. See the. Yeah, you know, the clouds, and we did have, but at least there wasn't no smoke that day. Yes. Definitely. But, anyway, okay. Bonus content. Yeah. We're gonna let them go now. What? what? Yeah, we're gonna let them go. You're just now getting into it, and we're gonna let them go. Card because it's dealer. Yeah. I'm giving you your card back. Like I said, remember you can make it through the dust storms of life with God's divine help. So we will see y'all next week.